I'm Johanna Fairmond, and today's message is for those of you who continuously put other people's feelings ahead of your own. For some of us, we learned this in our childhood when we wanted something that our parents didn't want. They told us we were selfish, and this was an effective means of control for them. And so when we go into adulthood, sometimes we continue this type of thinking. So what happens is that we don't want to disappoint other people. So we continue this pleasing behavior. We continue putting other people's needs ahead of our own. And for some of us, we don't want to disappoint society. We don't want uh, the rejection. So we're also living our lives in some ways just to please society. And what happens when we behave this way, when we continuously put others' needs and feelings ahead of our own, is that we're sending a message to ourselves that they matter more than we do. And that can be a dangerous message. It's not what you want to tell yourself. That was me 20 years ago. I was living a life to please everyone else. And at some point, you realize that all of the things that you're chasing to try and make yourself happy just doesn't work anymore because you're not living your life for yourself. And I'm going to tell you how I came to a decision to start living my life for myself, even if it meant uh, disappointing everyone. So one day I decided I would look into the future and think about who I would be in 50 years. And I knew that I never wanted to have any regrets when I was older. And for me at the time, I was 24 years old. So 50 years was like two times the, the life that I had known. So it seemed such a very long time. And when I looked back at my 24 year old self from that age, I thought, does it really matter if I disappoint all of these people, most of them by the time I'm 74 will either be dead or long gone. It's really not worth trying to please them at all and throw away my life for these other people. So I decided to do that and to follow my heart um, because when I had that perspective, it just became crystal clear to me that the person I should be pleasing is my future self and my authentic self at that time. And what happened afterwards was that all of the people who loved and supported me still supported me. They weren't disappointed at all, which is something that I had learned from a young age. So I suppose I just assumed that they would be disappointed. But there were people who were upset with me, and those were the ones who didn't care what I wanted. They didn't really love me. They were the selfish ones, and they were gone after that. And so it was a very healthy time in my life where all of these toxic people went out of my life 
And I knew who all of the people were who really loved me. And if you think about society in a similar way, if you think that living and being your authentic self will result in society rejecting you, just think about how much society changes as well and things that are accepted today will be rejected in the future and things that are rejected today will be accepted in the future. And we don't really know exactly what those things are, but one thing is certain, the one person who will accept you in the future is yourself. And so your future self is the one you should be looking to please. And that self will always want you to be authentic. I hope this message uh, reaches someone who really needs to hear it. And if you like this message, um, please hit the like button. And if you have gone through something uh, similar and this video really speaks to you, I would love to hear about it in the comments. Uh, if you would like to hear more videos, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, next week's video is going to be uh, three different ways that you can shield yourself from other people's negative energy. I hope to see you in the next video.